Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the workshop spaces in Blackbird to create your own coding lessons and activities for your students to complete. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here we are at blackbirdcode.com. If you want to use this from the perspective of a new coding teacher, check out the link down below for an overview of how to use it in that manner. But here I am signed into my teacher account and you can see here's my summer 2020 demo class. Now I'm signed in here and I'm in my teacher account and I want to go to the upper right corner here where I'm going to select workshop and in the workshop you'll see that there are a bunch of activities that you can look at so i have my projects here with my warm-up one activity and you can see there's a list of project solutions friend projects example projects for this demo we're focused on how to create our own projects that students are going to do like my warm-up number one project well that warm-up project I borrowed from Blackbird, who has a set of 30 different activities that you can use and modify on your own. And I have a link for this linked up down below. But let's go ahead and create our new project. So I'm going to create a new project here. And just click on that new button and we'll see I now have a new line up here. And I'm just going to write in some simple directions for my students here. And I'm going to say, use the knowledge you have to create two cubes. That's it. That's all I'm going to write for this project prompt. I'm going to let the students then write all the code. So let's go ahead now and hit save as. Let's save this project as, and we'll call it create cubes. And I'm going to make this a warm up activity. And so I now have a warm up called create cubes. And I'm now going to go here and say make this project visible to your students. And we'll see it's now green so that my students, when they're signed into their Blackbird accounts and go into the code workshop, will see there's a warm up activity called Create Cubes. So let's see now what the student sees. So here's my student, Max. He's signed into his account. He's already completed this activity here. He's going to go into the workshop. So he goes into the workshop. And he's going to see that under his projects, he has warm up number one and he has his first project from scratch. But if he goes to instructor projects, he'll see my name and he'll see there's warm up one and there's create cubes. And he can now go in and start to create his cubes and write the code for the two cubes that he needs to create. Now, when he's done, he can hit that save button on it. And if he wants the student wants his teacher to review it, he'll click on the little hand raise icon there, that little hand raise icon and say, mark this project as ready to be reviewed by your teacher. And we'll see now it's gone green. And the teacher, and in this case, it's me, will refresh this. And a teacher can go into their account as the teacher here and see, oh, there's a hand raised right there. Students have raised hands indicating they'd like you to review their code. And we'll see right there, that's the one that needs to be reviewed. It's from Max and he has create cubes. And you can see his code or in this case his lack of code so far and i can award feathers for doing a good job here now in this case here 
Max hasn't really done anything yet, so I'm not going to award him any feathers quite yet. But I can review his code, and if I want to, I can give him some feedback, or I might just say, hey, Max, you need to write something a bit more before I can review it. So that's how you can create your own projects for your students to complete in Blackbird by using that workshop space. Again, to learn more about Blackbird, check out the links in the description down below. And as always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.